Toyota cigarette lighter, by golly. <laughs> hey, that's uh, an alternative summer. universe. That's right. Welcome to Cloud Hoppers, everybody. I'm Claude Headgate, down here at Nevada County TV, which, by the way, is still on the air. We haven't gone off the air, no matter what you think you've heard or have heard. We're going to keep in there uh, fighting to keep it open uh, so we can bring you more Cloud Hoppers and other fine programming right here, brewed in your community, by golly. We have uh, Alice Lake running the cameras out here on roller skates going back and forth like a blur. And we have Steve Baker running the switcher and the TriCaster being the director. And we have uh, Bo Peep on sound, character generator, and sound effects. Yay. Yay what a crack run amuck production crew we have here. And we have two wonderful guests. Yay. That's right. Give yourselves a hand. <laughs> Next thing you know, we'll be in Hollywood giving ourselves a hand, huh? That's all they ever do down there. How about Hollywood? Yeah. And we have two wonderful musicians to join us uh, here. We have Ev Burkhardt on the seven-string Epiphone Hubcat guitar. Boy, boy, boy. What kind of a what kind of a car is an Epiphone? <laughs> Well, it's not a four-door, that's for sure. We got Les Tara, that radio star, Dave Aiella, joining us on the uh, Jumbo Blonde Guild guitar. Right, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we're doing, uh, there we go, we're doing Aggie Culture. And uh, b before I could work down in the stable, you know, I had to get me a pilot license. Pilot license? What do you need a pilot license for? Well, you know what you do down there. You pilot here and you pilot there. Well, that kind of a pilot. That's 
Comments from the barnyard. Now you're talking. Does it, was that positive or negative? Was that a critic? <laughs> keeping, right, keeping right on with the theme of the farm songs, here's the one about a rooster. Cowboys roll up the, the brims on their cowboy hats. Roll up the brims on their cowboy yeah. What do they No, why do they do that? That way they can get four in front of a pickup. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's one way of doing it. Here's a lovely waltz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <goodness. laughs> Both will be good and 
a dream. <laughs> I thought Bo Peep was going to shoot me. <laughs> She's taking her time. <laughs> she needs the music. There, there you go. go. Oh. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Oh, no. I'm wounded. Thanks, you, hear? you can hear. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, you know, the, the very best possible way to disperse Fertilizer, of course, is, uh, is what a politician pulling a manure spreader. Um, how about that a banker a pulling, helping? That ought to do it. Yeah. If they take away my farm, if they pull me off the plow, tell me who will feed the people? Hell banker don't know how it's all pages in a mystery that he'll never understand tell me who will feed the people if they put me off my land if they call in all my loans if they call the auctioneer tell me who will feed the people with no farm folk living here Will the banker pull the combine? Will his agent bail the hay? Tell me who will feed the people if they take my farm away. Oh, my great granddaddy Jacob, 97 years ago, broke this sod behind two oxen, broke his back to make it grow, taught his kin by his example, as they taught theirs in turn what this topsoil had to teach us great granddaddy tried to learn if they put us on the road if they tell us we must go tell me who will feed the people who know half the things we know who know every inch of topsoil as it trickles through their head Tell me who will feed the people if they put me off my land. Jacob, 97 years ago, broke this sod behind two oxen, broke his back to make it grow, taught his kin by his example, as they taught theirs in turn, what this topsoil had to teach us, great granddaddy tried to learn. If they tell us we must go, if they put us on the road, tell me who will feed the people who know half the things we know, who'll know every inch of topsoil as it trickles through their head. Tell me who will feed the people if they put me off my land. Tell me who will feed the people if they put me off my land. Very nicely done there, Lestar. So uh, there was a cowboy came in, and uh, he was dressed up all in paper. Oh, was he? Head to toe. Yeah. And he looked pretty sharp. Everything was going good. Yeah, they even let him in. Yeah, yeah. He was, uh, he was hanging around. Everything was going good till they turned on the fan. Yeah. Then he got arrested for rustling. <laughs> Yes. 
Sounds like a good one to sing to your neighbors, by golly. Oh, yeah. Them nay any y boars. in there too <laughs> <laughs> yep you're right by golly hey little, uh, Les what happened to that hat that was in here a while ago that hat yeah that hat oh it went on ahead oh phew that's good <laughs> <laughs> I thought I knew something but I did <laughs> Well, you have a story about a hero, right? A hero? Yeah. Yeah, this is a this is a guy. He liked he was a cowboy too. He loved riding the range and punching cows. Ouch. <laughs> but times were tough. The railroad was coming through, he had to join the railroad. You know, in the days when those railroads had those great, the trains, uh, the locomotives had those big smokestacks coming out of the top. And he had to quit riding the range and had to join the railroad. This is his song. It's called The Cowboy Fireman or The Crying Cowboy, whatever you like to call it. In, in. In the high Sierra mountains came an SP passenger train. The hobos tried to ride her, but alas, it was all in vain. The conductor, he took the tickets and he counted every soul. The engineer looked straight ahead And the fireman shoveled coal Oh, the fireman was a cowboy But do not think it strange He could make more money Shoveling coal than riding on the range Cowboy, and though his eyes were wet, he still remained a Western boy, and he kept his lariat. Oh, the train was way behind time, and the passengers all were wild. When on the track, a sudden a little child Her golden hair in ringlets Was a-streaming down her back She little knew of the danger grave That was hurtling down the track My God! The hawk's head shouted As he slammed on all the stop this train in time cause I ain't got what it takes heaven help that we taught we cried in accents 
while Will nothing stop this train in time And save the little child Up step the cowboy fire And a gallant lad was he He said I will save that baby If I wreck this whole SP He climbed out on to the running board With tears his eyes were wet And in his hand our hero brave For his trusty lariat He quickly dropped a fast loop Round a pole beside the track And then he tied the other end Around that big smoke stack He jerked the train right off the track And he caused a horrible wreck Our hero lay there in the ditch With the engine on his neck That 45th of May There were many gallant hearts Filled with woe and fear that day They buried that poor fireman Where the prairie winds blow wild He killed 200 passengers much for checking out Cloud Offers, everybody. Yeah, thanks to Lestar, Ev Burkhard, you betcha, Alice Lake, Steve Baker, Bo Peep. Take it away, Ev, on the Blue Steel Blue. Help Nevada County TV stay alive. 
Melissa Missler. I'm the volunteer director for the Tapestry Network of Nevada County, formerly known as the Band Project. We are a Christian business women's organization serving the community while cross marketing each other's businesses. We serve 24 local nonprofits each year. Each month,